Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. We're not on the radio shack, we're up in the computer room. Now on a previous video, I have my little Retifes RA79, which is a crane showing uh, UVK5 clone. And I said to you that I would like to flash the firmware, get something a little bit more um, expandable so I could maybe get the CB frequencies on it. And I did ask your opinion and a few suggestions came back. There were two, oh, two favorites on the suggestions. First one was the IJV firmware but the most popular by far was the EGU Zuma or Egg Zuma depending how you want to say it. So that's the one that I'm going to try this evening with the radio. Hopefully it won't brick the radio. You all seem to think it's um, quite stable and the idea being is that I want to expand the radio so I can receive the CB frequencies. Now it's not the first time on my channel, you guys know a lot more about this than I do, so I'm learning as I go along. So I simply went on to Google and typed in EG Zuma, Exuma firmware, and I found the uh, software site straight away. Now it says that uh, I can flash with browser. I did watch someone else do it on a YouTube video, and it seems I just plug the radio in, switch it on, and it should go. Of course, you will need a proper programming lead. I've got the genuine uh, Retivest one here, but I have tried a generic lead with these radios and it seems to work fine. So I'm just going to go straight through it. If I completely uh, cock it up, you'll see it. This is not a guide by any stretch of the imagination. If you, if you just come here on a Google search and you're looking for a guide, this probably isn't the video for you. This is, uh, this is, this is old Fred having a go. Just going to plug this straight into the computer. I'm leaving the radio switched off because that's how it was on the video that I've just watched. There we go, Windows has found the cable. And uh, now I'm just going to simply click flash with browser and hopefully it will find the COM port. I've just realised it says something about setting the radio up in flash mode not done that before didn't see that procedure on the video that i watched so i need to just go away off camera and just research that find out how to get the radio in flash okay mode. it seems simple enough um it says connect the usb cable which i've done push down the ptt turn the radio on and then the led torch should come on yep that's what's happened and now that is now set in flash mode. We are now in flash mode, the LED light's on, and I'm gonna try now. So flash with browser. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Gonna check, click on flash firmware. So it's saying that it's USB COM6 will connect. Oh, there we go. Straight away it's flashing, the little LED is flashing. Always looking good. So that was um, quite painless actually. Success flashed firmware. Okay. Fantastic. So it doesn't look all that different, does it? I think there's other options. If we just go into the menu there, there's our step rate. There's a squelch control, uh, transmit power, and the privacy codes, although I shouldn't really call them that, someone did pick up on that in the comments and you're right, they're not privacy codes at all, you can still hear your transmission on another radio, and um, so we have got obviously the narrow and wide, scramble off, I'm looking for demodulation, is that what I want? No, not real. Oh, well, there we go. So that's what I wanted. So now, instead of just um, FM and AM, we now have FM, upper sideband, and AM. FM, upper sideband. So I, I assume that's... I wonder if that's jaw sideband. So if, if that's upper and, and lower, otherwise you wouldn't be get the, um, you get the USA. So let's just stick it into upper sideband for the moment. And come out of that. And it looks like it still kept my presets, which is quite good. So I'm quite pleased with that. Hopefully you can see that I've switched off the camera light. Not one of my best videos, is it really? Right, moment of truth. I'm gonna, in a minute, 
enter a frequency on the 11 meter band but first I'm going to need to change that step rate because it's on a moment it's on 25 kilohertz so we go into menu there we go step rate and the options I want to take it to 5 if it'll do it that's quite a few now there wasn't this many before there you go 5 kilohertz okay so press that exit that okay now that should work right so the moment of truth hopefully we're on screen hope you can see what is a bit dark in here but right here we go then so 0 27 decimal point will be there 555 five, five. the luck there's triple nickel and okay oh it's gone to 27550 what if I just go up okay that's a bit odd isn't it step rates I haven't done that correctly have I I've made a bit of a booble let's go back in the memory there step rate I didn't change it properly right let's try now yeah there we go 27555 five, five. let's just break the squelch it won't receive anything with the standard antenna but let's see if it's receiving Yep, so that is now, looked as it looks like it, it's receiving 27 uh, triple so five. thing I want to test though, and that's the transmit. I do not want to be transmitting on this frequency, on this radio. The reason being this radio will put out so many bad harmonics, so much RF spur spurious interference. Just don't want to go there. So I'm just going to check that the TX is disabled. Yeah, TX disabled. So that's brilliant. That's what I want. Okay, so in a moment, join me up in the uh, top shack. Right, we're up in the radio shack. Oh, all of this is coming up on a future video. You haven't seen that yet, so let me just tidy this up. Right, that's better. So I want to do a very quick crude test here, just to give me an idea if I'm on the right path. I'm going to tune the Yosu to the same frequency as the RA79 and turn the power right down and just key it up and, and we'll just see if the radio does receive on that frequency and then we can separate the radios and do a better test this is very very crude but it should give me an idea okay so um, let's just change the mode into FM and let's turn the power right down we don't want to uh, cause too much problems to the radio so we're going to RF power let's turn that right down I think it's 5 watts isn't it I think the lowest this will go yeah, so let's uh, set that to 5 watts. And then take it up to 27.805. Check that it's clear. Which it is. Right, turn the volume up on this radio. And then for the first time, a moment of fun truth. Let's Take my headphones off the microphone. Key up. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a over modulation, wasn't it? Let's turn that down a little bit. Try now. Audio. It's doing something, isn't it? Definitely. Oh, that channel's occupied. Someone came back. I'm not sure that 805 is a channel. I think I'm between channels, probably on alpha channels or something. Let's try again. Audio 1 2. Audio 1 2. Overload. Audio. Audio 1 2 1 2. So that appears to be working. The little uh, ready vest there seems to be receiving. So what I need to do is I need to separate these radios now. I need to change the antenna to something more appropriate. I haven't got a CB antenna to put on the uh, on the radio, but I've got something that will work. And I think we need to take this radio downstairs, set it up, and then we need to go through all the different modes. So we'll try FM again, and then we'll try AM, and then we'll try um, upper sideband and lower sideband, and we'll just see if it receives. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. I'm going to use this telescopic whip antenna, which is what I use for the airband. I don't need to have 
a tuned CB antenna because I'm never going to transmit on this radio on CB because as we know it, they just don't work particularly well but this um, this, uh, this basic telescopic whip antenna it should be okay just to receive right let's go and set this up downstairs and then we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll do some proper testing right here we are set up for the FM test now when I transmit hopefully the backlight will come on and it'll probably blow the uh, the video but you'll get the idea so anyway this is um, 27805 on FM up in a Muppet band somewhere video test one two audio test 27805 on FM. FM audio test 121234 audio. Uh, we're just going to go into this and we're going to change it to AM. And then we'll do exactly the same thing again. And then we'll see how it sounds on AM. Next test we're going to go into what it says is um, upper sideband. There's no lower sideband, unfortunately. So I don't know if that upper sideband is dual band. But anyway, we'll give it a go. So we're going to set that to upper sideband. Same frequency, same radio. And we'll give that a go. Interesting set of results that was. Um, let's start with the FM. I thought the radio sounded absolutely fine. Just sounded like a normal PMR radio to me. AM, I thought it sounded even better. Came out across on the camera, even clearer, quite uh, punchy. The sideband test, yeah, it didn't do so well there, but I think that's more down to the fact that I'm trying to use this antenna, which is not tuned for 27 megahertz. That might be why it was a little bit quiet and a little bit distorted. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm probably not going to invest um, in, a, in a 27 megs antenna because I've got no intention to transmit on this uh, on this radio and I'll be honest with you if, if I'm going away on holiday or something I prefer to use an SDR to pick up any local CB. But what I will do is I will connect my Antron 99 outside CB antenna straight into the radio and uh, that's perfectly tuned. I won't get that done on this video though and also I was hoping that we might get a little bit of skip coming in for this uh, video but typically it's midweek and uh, the band's been pretty dead for the last couple of days. More people will be on at the weekend but that'll be too late for this video and also this time of year on 11 meters skips very sporadic it's very in and out and I'm at work and whatnot so I haven't really got time to uh, to go along. Now I've literally just loaded this firmware but I'm pretty sure when I've watched other videos I, I thought there was a spectrum scope that you could switch into where you've got the frequency on the top and then you've got a little spectrum scope on the bottom there. I've had a little play with it and uh, haven't been able to find it so once again it'd be quicker for me that uh, if any of you guys know that if there is a spectrum scope or maybe I'm getting confused with another program let me know how I can uh, access that and we can have a look at that on another video. Finally, I do want to revisit the airband because as a lot of you pointed out, and you were quite right, on my previous attempt on the airband, when the aircraft was very, very close, you probably heard it in the background on the video, it was a bit distorted on AM, it overloaded the radio, but apparently Exuma is supposed to be much better on airband. So yeah, that'll all be coming up on another video. As I say, this is a midweek video, so I'm sort of dodging it in between work and family and everything else. So I'm gonna sign this one off. Um, I do hope if anyone's got this one of these radios and you're a little bit nervous about flashing the software and installing uh, Exuma, I do hope that the video has helped you. It hasn't bricked the radio in any way. It saved also my PMR presets and from what I can see there's a lot, well a little bit more information uh, on the display but when you go into the menu systems it seems there's 60 options now. There's, there seems to be a lot more. I haven't really had a chance to go through them but I did notice there was a separate mic gain control. 
that might have been there on the previous uh, software, I can't remember. But yeah, that was quite useful. But anyway, starting to waffle on a bit. So that's this video. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. There is the thumbs up from old Fred in the Shed. If you get a second before you go, just hit me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. But as for now, as always, please, 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 look after yourself. Got loads of other <laughs> videos coming up. I'm overloaded at the moment, but they'll be coming up as I can get them done. Please look after each other. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Oh,